Hey Bookaholics and welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you a beginner's guide to the Galactic Camino series by Julian May. The Galactic Milu universe is in fact comprised of two series and a standalone which are the Saga of the Exiles Quartet consisting of The Many Coloured Land, The Golden Talk, The Nonborn King and The Adversary. A bridge book standalone which is The Intervention and the Galactic Milu trilogy consisting of Jack the Bodiless, Diamond Mask and Magnificat. This series as a whole is in fact a classic sci-fi series that is set in a world where we are um, connecting with the rest of the creatures in the galaxy and in this world the thing that defined our capability of joining this uh, galactic alliance known as the galactic milu is our ability to have what is called metapsychic abilities Metapsychic abilities are essentially the magic system of this world. It is a sci-fi and the magic system is presented as a, a science. So for any of you hypological based fans, you're going to love that. However, it is in fact more like a magic system. It's basically the Charles Xavier powers. You know, you have telekinesis, telepathy, fast speaking, which is to speak across long distances. Um, you can even get to the point where you can manipulate someone with your mind. And um, yeah, it's a very, very uh, clearly thought out magic system that is presented in a scientific way. And the fact that people start beginning to have these powers in the mid midway point of the 20th century, we begin to um, garner observation from alien species who are have been observing us for a long time to consider us as part of the Galactic Milu, which is a galactic alliance. Now, I am going to start this video off with a recommended reading order, solely on the basis that you can there, you can read them in chronological order. If you are going to read them in chronological order, it would go Intervention, The Galactic Milu, and then The Saga of the Exiles. I would not recommend this reading order because The Galactic Milu, even though it comes beforehand, actually has spoilers for the saga of the exiles so i would recommend doing it instead the saga of the exiles intervention and then the galactic milieu as i said this is solely on the basis that one can spoil the other so even though if you're going through chronological order intervention is the first one in which we are following um a man who has begun to develop metapsychic abilities him and his twin brother in fact have these metapsychic abilities and uh, we see as he progresses from being one of the um, like the only person that he knows that exists with these abilities he has quite weak versions of these abilities through to following generations of his family where we see them develop incredible metapsychic ability as being amongst the most powerful people in the world um, and we also see how this specific family is integral to the um incorporation of earth into the galactic milieu so in chronological order that seems all well and done but there is something that changes the chronology in a way so the saga of the exiles which is the first published series is actually the one that is set first back in time in a way so the beginning of the book is set very far in the future where we have you know been part of the galactic alliance for a while however there is a kind of loophole um, in time in the time space continuum where people who are um, wanting to live a more uh, Amish style life almost wanting a much more calm um, life or people who have committed a crime or people who for whatever reason uh, do not want to be part of this society can be set, sent all the way back to Pliocene Earth the Pliocene era of Earth um which is um where the majority of the saga of the exiles is set so we see the very at the very beginning we see the furthest point in the future that we ever get in the books but then we also have you know all of these characters being sent back all the way to pliocene earth so then obviously that ch changes the timeline and certain things that happen means that if you read the Galactic Milieu first, even though the majority of it is set before the later point of Saga of the Exiles, 
you're still going to get spoiled for it for other reasons. So I would highly recommend reading them mainly in publication order. If you are a character driven reader then as classic sci-fi goes this is definitely one of the most personable ones. We are focusing predominantly on this family. It is a very character driven series. The Saga of the Exiles has a huge cast of characters. We have like an almost fellowship kind of vibe like a band of misfits that are sent back to Pliocene Earth. It is a very very interesting um, story in which we are following these characters as they are sent back to Pliocene Earth and um, seeing the impact that that has on our planet with other alien species also inhabiting the space which I won't get into too much because spoilers but it is a very very enjoyable concept. Um, and we are always following a, a cast of characters that is really easy to root for um, and they are not always just necessarily good people. We have some great grey morality in there long before we started with all of the grimdark. We have some just interesting grey morality in there. We have some very interesting thematic um, discussions surrounding things like ethics, eugenics, etc which I think that she handles really well. We do also have a nice variety of characters in there. We do have some queer characters which I really enjoy. Um, so for the most part I just find it to be a very interesting all-round series. Um, so yes if you are a, a fan of character driven re character driven stories then you will definitely enjoy this series. I do think that at the latter end of the Galactic Milieu some of the characters do become a little bit colder um, but it is a logical progression and I don't think that it actually affects the story. In terms of intrigue they are very very interesting stories. I think they are paced really well. All of the books that I have read they have had um, no real true info dumps um, that didn't feel, feel warranted. At no point did I feel like anything affected the pacing. I didn't feel like slowing down for character development or world building um, felt like a slog and I never felt like uh, the sheer amount of action that happens in the stories was too breakneck for me to be able to follow. So that being said, five reasons that I think that you should try the Galactic Milieu Universe by Gillian May. The first one, as I said, would be the characters. I think that the characters are such an interesting cast of characters throughout the entire series. The way they interconnect as well, I think is really interesting. So I think that as reading about character driven sci-fi goes. This is just a really really interesting one to get into. The second one would be as I said the magic system. I do think that the magic system in here slash pseudoscience whatever you want to call it is really well thought out. So for anyone who loves like a really hard magic system like a Brandon Sanderson level magic system I think that you will really enjoy this one. Number three would be the world building. Like I said I think the world building centered around a lot of really important moral questions and I really like the way that she explained things in a way that meant that you don't need to have an entire textbook on the science for it to work but at the same time it didn't feel like it was just talking down to you. Um, I think that she balanced that really well. Number four I actually think the writing style is incredibly approachable and as I said the pacing is also really really well done. I think that she does a really good job of making you want to keep reading. They are very compulsively readable. And number five the baseline logical thing that you most want to get out of a book is I think they have really good plots. I think that she is still one of the most innovative writers I have ever read even though you know I've read much more modern stuff, stuff that could technically have even derived from her and I, I haven't read anything like her books before. I think they're incredibly unique and the way that she goes about her plots are really really interesting and really really well thought out. The intrigue is definitely there so I, I would definitely recommend them if you're looking for something a little bit different in your sci-fi. So that is it for this video. That is my beginner's guide to the Galactic Milieu universe and I hope that I have convinced at least a couple of you to give at least one of the books a try. I do believe they are currently back in print as well. When I first did the Saga of the Exiles review they weren't actually in print at the time but I do believe they are back in print and are now available on Amazon just you know so you know I think they're also available on Kindle although I'm not sure on that one but yeah let me know if I have convinced you at all to pick up this series I'm really sorry that I've been sniffly and slightly croaky throughout the whole video but I've been a little bit poorly this week but yes that is it for me for today so thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully catch you in another one soon bye guys